that were kind of out of my control and that happens so um, I missed it and I think in this case what's most important is that when you are in a situation where you can't be creative you find a way and even if that's when you accomplish small things so in this video I'm going to share some small accomplishments that I made and how they relate to um, art or just being creative and then incorporating the love of sewing in them. So hang around, stay tuned. in with the willingness now to sew pants. I talked a little bit about that in the last Friday Sews video. Um, I tackled the pair of pants, they fit, who knew? And so now I'm kind of anxious about trying to add more handmade, hand-sewn pants to my wardrobe. This particular one has been around. I've eyed it for a while, uh, but then always tended to buy the tops and or dresses from this independent pattern company. It is the Closet Core Patterns Company. They have an online website that offers inspiration and some tutorials and sew-alongs, which is really cool. This is the Pietra number 19, which is from the Rome Collection and the classification of difficulty of five triangles is a two. So um, I'm saying that this would probably work out for, I would say a competent beginner sewist. It's described, these are actually pants and shorts and flare leg, a tapered leg, it's really cute. The front is flat versus uh, the back, which has then a little bit of an elasticized waist, high-waisted silhouette, which I really think is very flattering on a lot of figure types, and um, panels in the front, featuring lengthening panels in the front with slanted hip pockets. I thought those were also really a beautiful detail, so I'm definitely excited about this and hoping to make, with my new haul of linen, <laughs> some pants. Uh, in addition, I'm still contemplating sewing the calls. Um, this is the Palmer Plesh Tissue Fitting Method M7415 pant. That's the no seam pant and also 8389 Simplicity Easy to Sew. I like these because they have pockets. So I've got three pant patterns that I need to crack open and try to make some pants with. So that's the first Thing that I want to share with you, a little mini pattern haul. This week's fabric haul included quilting cotton for my next project bag plans. I love the bees and the flowers in the garden. 
Then I purchased some Robert Kaufman Essex yarn dyed linen blend fabric. That's a mouthful in metallic. It's a lightweight 55% linen, 45% cotton in the colors water and burgundy. Probably will put those away for some upcoming fall projects. And finally, some 100% natural weave heavy weight linen that I can use to sew those billowy summer pants or a summer skirt. And lastly, my small accomplishment in the sewing room this week was making a project bag that was fully lined, uh, inspired by a cross-stitching piece that I was able to stitch and complete. The Be Well stitch is a freebie by Cottage Garden Samplings. I'll link in the description box. And here you see me piecing some quilting strips for the front cover of the project bag and adding some lace and I add some buttons and some doilies, uh, zipper front, and it was just really fun to put together and it felt like a good accomplishment. Again, small but mighty because it can be used for cross-stitching any type of needle art projects. You can store all kinds of things in project bags. It's also fun to add a zipper pull charm and I am ready to fill my new project bag. various laces, doilies, fabrics, buttons, vintage hankies for um, more inspo and project bag covers. This is one that is completed. I just need to sew the rest of the components together. My color inspiration really comes from what I see in nature. Enjoy these community garden pictures that I've taken for you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. See you next time in the sewing room. Bye.